Hey YouTube world, YouTube family, soul family, soul tribe, hello people. So I'm not even going to spend too much time with the intro or whatever. I'm going to jump right into my topic. Um, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good. And um, in a sense, I'm kind of okay with it, um, which also feels weird. When I say it out loud, it feels weird because um, it's not like me to accept negative emotions. When I feel down, when I feel sad, when I feel mad, um, it makes me mad that I feel those things. Like, so a lot of times if I'm like sad, whatever, like I'll legit be upset because I don't want to be sad. Like not even because I'm sad, but I'm upset with myself for even feeling those feelings. Um, it, and it's really not okay for me to treat myself like that. I'm, and I see that. Um, I tend to get in my head a lot about what I want my human experience to be like. So when I feel like I can't control it, um, it fucks with me. And um, I'm realizing that, you know, part of the human experience is being human and feeling human shit. Like it's okay to be upset. Like I'm human. It's okay to, you know, feel things that I feel like are beneath me. And um, so that's where I am with it. You know, I'm, I'm okay with not being okay right now. Um, in the last like, maybe like month, like in the beginning of November, I for sure was like not doing well. Like I was in the bed all day, every day. I didn't want to do anything. Um, when I first started to go to therapy, like earlier this year, um, I've never been like officially diagnosed with depression, but my therapist did tell me, you know, that I experienced depressive states. So at the beginning of this month, um, November, I definitely do feel like I was in a depressive state, um, heavy. And um, towards the end, like these last couple weeks, these last two weeks, I have been feeling a little bit better. You know, I haven't been like how I was in the beginning, but um, I still feel this inkling of not necessarily feeling how I want to feel, just kind of going with the motions. Um, I guess like learning to cope with what I'm feeling. So now that it's like holiday season, um, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, <clears throat> which feels so weird to say because like, it doesn't even feel like Thanksgiving, like at all, like I don't know like usually you know how you get excited for the holidays like you look forward to the day like oh my gosh tomorrow is blah 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 i don't feel that at all it's like damn can tomorrow come and go because i'm ready to get this over with like i'm ready to say i did it just like i feel that way about the rest of this year like i just want <laughs> 2020 to like wrap it up and fast forward to january of next year i don't know why i feel like that but i do um, like, I'm not looking forward to anything this year, but I feel like next year, um, for some reason, I just feel like something's coming next year. And um, that feeling is overriding all of the shit right now. But anyways, um, so in dealing with what I'm feeling and um, trying to be okay with feeling what I'm feeling, um, I really just wanted to come in here and share that um, because part of my depressive state, you know, kept me from wanting to film, um, kept me from wanting to do anything because it's like, I really don't want to get out of bed. Like, I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to go anywhere. And um, me working from home only makes that worse because I really have the option to not get out the bed and not go anywhere. So, and I don't want to develop those patterns and especially, you know, when I know the underlying reason of it. <clears throat> but um, I also want to say a big part of why I feel like this is happening um, is because of knowledge of self. You know, um, in like life and also in like the spiritual community, you know, it's talked about a lot, a lot the importance of self-awareness, knowledge of self, 
um, learning yourself so you can love yourself and all that kind of stuff. And the more I learn about myself, you know, through astrology, you know, through like personality tests of just monitoring and, and analyzing my behavior with people I love and how they react to me and that kind of thing. The more that I learn about myself, um, it's definitely beneficial. It's definitely just good to know, like, oh my gosh, that is me. Like, yes, I relate to that so much because that's exactly how I am. And it feels so good to know, you know, that you're not crazy. You're like this for a reason. This is how you were made up to be. Um, and I like that. It's a very comforting feeling for me. But um, aside from that, the more I learn about myself, I realize that self-awareness is not enough, right? So you know about yourself, you know the issues you have, you know the strengths you have, but now what do you do with this information? Like practically, what do you do with that? Like, okay, now I know, but how do I apply this to my life? And when you really, really um, do that in an authentic way, um, as I have been trying to do, um, it kind of makes me frown on myself. And I don't know if that's necessarily good or not, but you know, when I learn about, I guess like the negative aspects of myself and I see myself exhibiting those things in real time after I've learned about, you know, that that's how I am. And I realize like, yo, I really struggle with this. Like this is a real thing. And um, it makes me upset. It makes me mad because it's just like, girl, you don't have to be like that. And at the same time, I do have to be like that because that's me. And, you know, the other side of this is seeing that, you know, seeing that for yourself, like, okay, that might be a negative thing that might manifest in my life in a negative way, but that is me. <laughs> like, that's me. And that's okay. I should never, you know, shun or banish any part of myself. Um, no matter if I feel like it's bad or not, I have to embrace that part of me because it's me, whether I like it or not. And um, the more that I shun those parts of myself or repress and push those parts of myself down and act like they, they don't exist, it only manifests in other ways in my life, whether subconsciously or what have you, it's still going to have an effect on me. Um, so that revelation, <laughs> in and of itself and trying to embrace the parts of myself that I don't like um, has been hard and it really is like depressing. But like I said, I'm okay with going through these emotions because it's just what, that's what has to happen. And I understand um, the biggest deal for me is just not getting completely engulfed in these feelings and getting used to them. I think, you know, this stage of self-actualization um, is helpful for my progress. Um, and therefore, I'm okay with it. You know, I, I do understand um, that other people would probably have a harder time accepting depression and accepting, um, you know, all the things that come with that as a good thing and i understand that i understand that completely um but this is a personal experience for me and um i understand that there is duality in all things and as in life in general and it's full of positive and negative and there is a healthy balance of that that i want to have in my life um that i understand that negative has to come in order for positive to exist I understand that, you know, my humanness is duality. You know, I am not all of one thing. It, that's just not it. So, um, and even that has been part of my actualization process because um, I realized, or well, I've come to terms with the fact that um, I have a lot of masculine energy and um, I feel like I've always kind of known that, but not necessarily embraced it to the point where I can say that because um, I always felt like, you know, I know how to do my hair, I know how to do, do uh, I always felt like I know how to do my hair, I know how to do my makeup, so, and I know how to dress and be cute and all that stuff, so like, I'm feminine, you know? 
<laughs> but um I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And that's okay. Um I yeah, I'm not even gonna explain that. If you know me, that's just what it is. Um but so the part that I had trouble accepting is the fact that when I see myself exhi exhibiting um, what I might consider feminine qualities as far as emotionally or like tendencies and stuff like that, um, I get really upset. Like, I hate being sad. I hate being emotional. I hate, and I, I don't want to make it seem like these are only feminine qualities. Um, it's just a feminine class of emotion, not necessarily only only for females that's not what i'm saying but um certain feelings are more linked with femininity so like when i feel myself being emotional and petty and um upset and sad and crying or even you know too loving like overly affectionate um i feel a way like i i'm not comfortable with those things i'm not comfortable um exhibiting those kinds of things like i'm not even an affectionate person like if you know me like i'm not kissy kissy i'm not lovey dovey um i'm just not like that <laughs> and um when i get that too much or when i feel the need to be like that i get uncomfortable and i realize how badly i was like repressing those emotions and how much of a toll that was taking on me, just being annoyed at myself for being human. Like, girl, it's okay. Like, it's all right. You don't have to beat yourself up for like nothing. So yeah, it, I, I just see myself doing that a lot. So it pisses me off because I want myself to be better. And um, all parts of the process, you know? I, I just, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the more that I learn about myself, I just want to fix it and realizing that, um, you can't fix everything. You can just learn how to work with what you have. Right. And that's where I'm at with it. So, I mean, I ain't got the answer this way, but I'm ripping around. I'm going through it. So when I figure it out, y'all figure it out. Um, if anybody's experiencing anything similar, join the club we out here um and yeah happy holidays happy thanksgiving if you celebrate that i hope you don't necessarily because it's an evil holiday um but i do hope that y'all can experience some peace love and harmony um happiness and joy um throughout this week even though you know it's a pandemic and you probably can't be with family um i know for me personally i am uh my only family here in north carolina um of course i have my loving friends that i love on my heart um but for me it does feel a little hard not having any family close by because you know that's who you're used to spending holidays with um and i haven't seen them in a couple months and um i just miss that warmth and that familiarity and that j j just that that love I'm, i miss that love and um, it's kind of hard, but um, this is different for me and I am okay with that. I'm okay with it being different. Um, I'm okay with feeling my, my feels, going through the motions, and I look forward to coming out on the other side. So thank y'all for listening. Um, peace, I love all of y'all and yeah.